All right, so a little bit ago, I was recommended uh, the, these videos about like Mario Kart phones and Mario phones. I started thinking like, well, I wonder what other like bizarre merchandise Nintendo has made for their stuff. You know, thirty dollars for a Mario Kart phone, which is pretty reasonable in 2020 because it's a, about useless. So this was a Mario 64 camera. So, so you know, you could take. Yep, they made that. It's like a little bit heavy duty or camera and then some binoculars so you can see the game up closer maybe. I mean, you got you got young Morpheus there. Fire Keanu Reeves. What? Oh shit, hold on. We got two We got three branching paths here. So, uh what? Four. Five? Oh. Whoa. Okay, hold on a second. That's uh that's a pretty fucking hard sticker. I'm adding that to the watch list. I, I might just be buying that for real. $200. Nintendo 64 portable FM radio. That's pretty cool. Although it is... It looks like this is literally just a regular FM radio. But with a Nintendo 64 sticker slapped on the top. So you, we, you could probably just get like a regular FM radio. Yeah, like $16 and then get like, uh, ah oh shit, these are all end labels. But you, you see what I'm trying to say though. You could, you could get this for far cheaper. Now what I'm really interested in is this vintage Nintendo Super Mario World Yoshi Island employee promo ball display egg. So at first I thought this was a bowling ball, but this is actually... This is really small. This is just like a... This is a Yoshi Island rock. Yoshi Island Super Mario Advance 3 rock. Slam some impact font text on this. Nintendo Wii Countdown Clock 2006 Store Display Rare Very Good Condition. So this is just a clock that says Experience Wii. That makes sense why it's only... Eight oh, but only 10 hours left. So by the time this comes out, if it ever comes out, you, you've probably missed out on this. Sorry. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat Bucket Hat. Okay, that kind of... Six days? I might cop. GameCube Calculator. Yeah, this is, just a, this is just a calculator that says GameCube on it. We got another calculator here. This one folds out like a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, this is the cooler calculator. But this is cooler, why is it cheaper? Yeah, that was cheaper. This is, this is a better looking calculator all around. Okay, now we're getting into the shit I, I want. This is a GameCube tape measure, folks. Does it say any, you know, doesn't it have like Mario or anything on here? It's just, you know, it looks like it's been used despite it saying new. I mean, this, this looks like it's been in a drawer for like 40 years. Look at the, look at the face right there. GameCube temporary tattoos. Brand new Nintendo promotional GameCube screwdriver bits employee tool. What the fuck? Yo. Yo, guys, though. Hold on. GameCube screwdriver set? Just screwdriver bits. I guess it doesn't come with. Is this the screwdriver itself? Do I. Do they go in up here? This is a brand new slash unused GameCube branded screwdriver with bits. It includes the original box. Please see all pictures closely before purchasing to see condition. This was purchased from Nintendo of America's former merchandising manager as a 100% original Nintendo brand. I am listing multiple items like this and some are strictly employee slash prototype items and were not available for sale anywhere. I don't- Oh my god, could that be the only- Could that be the only thing? Like, I might have to cap this just for the clout. God, but $40 for just a screwdriver set that says GameCube on the carrying case? But, okay, but I mean, okay, this is this is what I just can't get over is that, uh, this is the only reference to it online, which means this is the, this is probably the only GameCube screwdriver bit set that exists. And for $40, I could have it. GameCube walkie-talkies. So I think we're definitely getting back on the track of uh, where I want to be with weird-ass GameCube merchandise. On and off switch, you can turn this off, folks. A lot of walkie-talkies, you can't turn them off, I guess. 
Okay, hold on. We got Metroid Prime. A uh, mug. Wait. No, this, these are promo stickers. I'm retarded. Oh, got it. Got another third. Only 40 minutes left. Ah. Uh, you can't expect me to make such a snap decision. Donkey Kong Country handkerchief? Yeah, okay. Fucking sneeze into this. Sneeze into these revolutionary graphics. I got Mario license plates. You can get pulled over and shot. Oh, okay. I thought these were. I thought these were asthma inhalers for a second. Why is Mario black? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just. Okay, this is a lot cooler than the first one I found, actually, because at least this has like a unique color scheme and it's Mario 64 specifically. Another, another one. Yeah, yeah, you, you, I don't feel like I'm having bombastic enough reactions anymore. I've become desensitized. Is this RAM? No, it's camera film. Damn it. Donkey Kong Jr. is literally not even in Mario 64. Yeah, this isn't like the real cool- Oh wait, Mario Sunshine mouse pad! Okay. Yeah, see, there's always more. There's always more to look for. That's why I'm so paranoid to, like, end this video, because then I'll just find, like, GameCube Quartz Desk Clock. Oh, GameCube Clipboard? Bruh. Nintendo Ruler. You could get, like, a whole, like, toolkit of just GameCube stuff. Not for resale. Yet here we are. So I guess if you worked at Nintendo, this is where you'd sign in to get paid. And apparently nobody signed in ever. It really bakes my beans to know that, like, it took me so long to find a GameCube lunch cooler. The Cube Club? What the hell is the Cube Club? This is a fun center. How so? How so is this the fun center? I don't... This isn't even acting. I'm genuinely confused what's going on here. It looks like maybe the, a TV is supposed to mount up here. Okay, this might be the weirdest thing I've seen, actually, just ever. Just like a piece of paper, like, stuck to that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. At least, at least this makes sense. Yeah, I, I, that's something, I guess. Oh, yeah, there, there it is again, the fun center. I can't get over this. What the fuck is the fun center? Okay, so I guess this is like what it's supposed to be, but all the guy's not selling it on wheels. Okay, it's a hot. Okay, I never even thought to read it. <laughs> it's just Japanese chess, but just this with no context. Okay, what am I looking at here? Oh, I thought this was a Kirby ruler. Just a little plastic guy. <laughs> the, the center is so wide. These guys. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good poster. You got Donkey Kong, bananas, the word total at the bottom. It's like total the cereal. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't think this has anything to do with the cereal total. Oh, jeez. Everyone on YouTube's always talking about that Resident Evil GameCube chainsaw controller. Nobody's ever talked about the Resident Evil Outbreak, you know, toolkit, flashlight. Why? This is so much more interesting to me. Up for an extremely rare and official flashlight toolkit. It this item was given out several years ago only to a select few people when Outbreak File 2 was released. It is supposed to resemble the tools which one of the characters from the game, David the Plumber, carries. Once again, this item is extremely rare and you will be difficult to find. But I've never heard about this. Is there anything about the... No. N what the fuck? Oh man, look at how many people are talking about this. Guys, you ever heard about the Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller? Isn't it? I'm so cool. I'm I'm really bringing out a, an oldie no one's ever heard about. Why wouldn't any of these YouTubers drop three thousand dollars and talk about this? Or no, two hundred and seventy-five.